Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying the Marabou Toad. It's just a simple wee mini toad fly. Excellent pattern for tarpon, um, both for baby tarpon and big ones, uh, when you want something a bit more finessey. But it also works for any of those sort of implosion feeders um, that attack from below, it's a really good fly. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, the monthly fly tying classes and into the giveaways. So I've got my hook my vice and it's an owner Aki and this is a 2 aught. They're quite wee hooks for their sizes um, and I'm putting on here some 2 tendon here Danville's flat wax nylon and fluorescent chartreuse and I just took a couple of wraps to make sure that eyes closed sometimes when these the flat thread can slip through the gap um, so just take your time to start and close that now it's a marabou toad so I don't need the bunny stripper in I'm keeping the fly a bit more compact so I've got two chartreuse bloods here just strung marabou and I've picked out a couple of nice fluffy ones and I've got to offer these in I want the tail just slightly more than the hook length and I'm going to tie it in directly above the barb just like that I'm going to trim the waist at an angle and tidy everything up more or less, you don't need to be super fussy you'll catch it later and then a couple of wraps and then I'm going to take some post and turns just around the marabou just to stop it fouling. Hey, I'll no tail wrap if you stick it up like that. A wee bit of head cement at the back here. Does no harm. And then I'll just wind my thread in here. Just wipe away any excess sort of push it into the thread wraps. I'm going to get a webby citrus saddle hackle. Tie it in by the tip. Just bear about the stem at the bottom for a handle. Tie it in right just right in front of the post wraps, you don't want a space and then very simply just fold this and wrap it build a decent collar can see maybe there's a bit of sort of marabou like fluff left at the bottom of this webby hackle um, I'm going to get that on the fly or maybe just give me a half a turn or a full turn and it's just a bit more movement in the fly just catch that in tie it off and trim away It's just a case of wrapping back a wee bit so that the hackle flows backwards and covers that up, gives you a nice neat trim. 
transition into the tail. Sort of tidying up, sort of smoothing, smoothing this out a wee bit, and then we're ready for the body. I've got to use this is Congo here. You can use EP fiber, uh, McFly lawn, all sorts of different materials. And I've just got a bunch. That's how thick it is. Like when I twist it or put it tight, it's half a pencil. And I'm going to position my thread just a few millimetres in front of the hackle. I'm going to just tie this in with X wraps. There's two. You can sort of, at this stage, jostle it a wee bit. Get your position. Come in. For your next two turns. And then I like to just fold it back and take a couple of or a few quite tight wraps there just to just to lock that in and then trim and I, I like to just leave this long it's, I find it easier to handle it so same again one two turn that to put it back you can just wiggle get it to sit where you want and just come in and lock those wraps in and just repeat Set. Tighten up, and then I'll just squeeze one more in. Two wraps and lock it in place. I'm just going to smooth all this out. At this stage, you can still sort of adjust it and push and pull. I'm going to cement all of this um, in a moment. But I'll get my eyes tied in first. Just the Medium black mono eyes. Now these are quite fragile. Um, I mean, quite often you buy a packet and there's some broken ones in there by the time you get home. And if they weren't already broken and you didn't notice in the shop. And I'm just taking plenty of wraps. Try not to deflect the stem. If you start bending the stem, that's often what causes them to break. And then... I will finish. And another. Right, nice and tight. Let it relax. Trim. So it's time to cut the toad, and I like to cut it in my hand. I put it, I hold it with the eyes facing myself, so I'm so I'm looking down on top of the toad. And I'm going to take. A diagonal cut 
away from the corner of the eye. And we'll do the same on this side. And turn it over to make sure that the angle is the same. And then I'll try to do this in the vise where you can see it. I make sure I get my tail out the way and the hackle out the way. So I cut out to meet it and then I'll round it off. Again, make sure that feather's out the way. Cut out to meet it and then just round it off. You know, you, you want it to be even, so just take your time. But don't, don't go mad. You know, close enough will do. That there's close enough. You can just tidy up if, you, if you've got any sort of stray fibres that you want to take away and then the last thing to do just to make sure nothing moves I just dab some head cement not super glue along the back between those eyes and then if you want to to make it a wee bit tougher you can splash it along the belly as well. So there you go. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Tech lines guys. Bye.